A bone reviewability scan is an automated high-level test that looks for a report of potential bone reviewabilities. These bone reviewabilities are then exploited during a pen test. There are many bone reviewability scanners with popular ones among them being Nexworthy, Nexus, Collisguard, and OpenBus. OpenBus is an open source bone reviewability scanner developed and maintained by the Greenbone Networks. In this lecture, we are going to install and set up OpenBus. So the first thing we are going to do prior to installing the OpenBus, we are going to update our repository list by running the command uh, sudo uh, sudo apt uh, update uh, update and then i'm going to add the uh, dash y switch so that any prompts that require me to enter yes this will take care of it so i just hit enter then i'm going to enter my password and then this will proceed to update my repository list. Okay, so after the uh, repository list has been successfully updated, now we can proceed to uh, install OpenBus. So we just come to the terminal. I'm going to clear the terminal. Then I'm going to enter the command sudo uh, apt install OpenBus, then uh, dash y, and then hit enter. Now this will proceed to install OpenBus for me. We run the command sudo uh, OpenBus setup. And then I'll hit enter. Now this will set up OpenBus on Kali Linux. But this uh, takes a lot period of time. So uh, uh, depending on your the computer, the resources you have on your computer, well, this will take a very long period of time. So uh, reserve uh, at least about uh, uh, 30 minutes or thereabout. You uh, it, 30 minutes or there about it to take the open bus to fully set off on the machine. So I'm going to pause the video and then when this has uh, eventually finished installing, then I'm going to resume uh, from there. All right, so uh, open bus has also successfully uh, finished setting off on the Cal Linux machine, and after it has finished setting off, it's going to present you with a URL link to access the web interface of the open bus and also to present you with the uh, admin with a login credential for the admin user and the password uh, the reason i'm not having the password here because this is not my first time of setting up open bus i've already uh, set it up and then i have to uninstall it and then reset it uh install it again for the purpose of this lecture so that is why i'm just having admin user but i can still go and access that uh the 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 uh, i can go and log in with my admin user and the password that i initially created on the open bus but you will be presented with a you uh, with a url link to access the web interface and then with a uh, admin user and then also a password so you can do the password is very odd looking which you can now go and access the web interface and then change the password to any uh, password that you want to make use of so i'm going to just copy this url link and then go and paste it in my browser and then try to access the web interface of the open bus so i'll copy it and then i'll go to my uh open my browser okay so i already have it here so uh, all you have to do is just to paste it uh paste it in your browser and then uh let me de delete this parenthesis and then hit enter then it's going to take you to the uh, web interface of the open bus which you are which is the one that you are going to make use of to perform the vulnerability scanning okay so you can see i have admin my and then my password is already uh pasted there then i will just log in so i have successfully logged into the open bar open bus vulnerability scanner now if you want to change your password all you have to do is come under administration here click on this administration click on users Then there you are going to see your your admin user. Then you can uh, click on this edit uh, edit user. Click on this uh, this spanner icon. Now you can go and then specify the new your new password. So specify your new password and then change the password so that is how you will be able to change your password so we are going to stop in this lecture here so to log out all i have to do is come and uh, log out so uh, we are going to stop this lecture here then in the next lecture we are going to see how to update uh, uh how to update the open bus vulnerability scanner and then subsequently see how we can make use of it to scan uh, any target of our choice. Uh, we are going to use it to scan any uh, any target that we want to perform vulnerability scan on.